Hey everybody, it's Matt with House of Vacuums, and uh, today on the workbench we've got a Mila Titan, which is an S2181 if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 2181. So the complaint on this guy is that he's not coming on, so we need to check and see what might be the cause of that or if there's anything going on at all. Yep, nothing's coming on. All right, so we've gotten into these before on this channel. This was just a little bit more interesting than another, oh no, the bag leaked video because people don't know how to use Mila bags. This one is actually a very clean unit. Now this filter though, on the other hand, this is an old one. And you can tell that from the color, this blue frame, they haven't made these blue frames in ages. And this was the one that had the activated charcoal combined with the HEPA filter. Um, now what they did, they called these the active HEPAs. What they did is they split these into two lines. They made one that just had the activated charcoal, with just electrostatic filtration, and then another one that's just the HEPA with no charcoal. Reason why they did that is because they were able to get the HEPA filtration numbers down to a smaller particle count using that method. That is really old and that should be replaced. So, um, because they haven't made those in, oh gosh, at least seven years. Um, so, so it's probably original to the machine. How old's this guy? Let's see. 2011, I would not be surprised if it was original to this machine. So to get into these guys, we've done it before, but what you do is there's two clips, one right here, one right here, and we just give them a little pry. They just clip on. So you don't wanna to go too hard, just a little, little gentle leverage. There we go, and he pops right off of those hinges. Really is nice to work on a meal that this is this clean. You can tell that they took care of this machine. Size, this is a T20. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws on this guy that we need to get into. Another clip right here. And that will just pop up and out. All right, now we'll take care of this clip right here. There's a clip right here. All right, cool. All right, there we go. What we've got to do on these guys, these two pieces need to be separated and they're not easy. There's like a bunch of like little claws that come down together and fit together to kind of give it more structure, but they make it kind of a pain to get in half. So you do need to tappy tap tap. And I hate doing this, this is not my jam, but you do need to just kind of give it a little tap. You can see the gap starting. So this piece clips down from the lower body up to the upper body. So as we're separating this, once we kind of get it further apart, we need to push on this clip while we lift this off. Now we're down here into the hole. Got the motor right here, which looks fine. It's a little carbony, but nothing abnormal for this age. You've got the switch right here. You've got your rheostat and your control board right here. And then you also have your cord reel going on here. And then there's leads coming out to your power nozzle there. So we're gonna make sure that that is in the on position. Should be in the on position and 
It is not good. It's the switch. Look at that. So you can see here how it's turned purple. And over here it's turned red. This got really hot. And yeah. And it started to pull out of the plastic there. So that got really, really hot at some point and failed. So there's a couple of clips again. More clips. There we go. So there's the front one. Now we'll get the back one. So now this can come apart right here. There we go. All right. Little carbony. So we've tested the cord reel, it's good. We tested the motor, it's good. The only thing it could be is this core, this circuit board, which given the heat that that, um, that this went through, doesn't surprise me. Well, I really thought that we were gonna have one of these cord reels in stock. I typically stock one, but I'm currently out. So um, we're gonna have to wait to finish this until later. Uh, so I'm just going to button it up as is, let the customer know that it's going to need a cord reel and give them an estimate. I'm sure they're going to be okay with it. Uh, but in any case, I will go ahead and try to finish this up on camera later. We got the cord reel in, so we're going to go ahead and finish this up on camera. Now, I don't have a lot of space to like keep vacuums that are half assembled. So I reassembled this guy quickly just for storage while we were waiting on the part. Cool. So now that we've got this apart, we're going to vacuum all this out. Everything else is in pretty good shape. It comes just like this. You just cut the plastic there. You just drop this guy in just like that. He's going to clip into place. There you go. Front and back clips are in place. Cord reel is looking good. So now everything is new up to this plug. So now we can just plug this guy in just like that. So this little guy is notched and it fits down into here and that's what controls the motor speed. So we want to make sure that it's going the right direction here, which it looks like it is. We'll find out in just a sec. All right, so that's back down into place. Now we want to look right here. You'll see this little white piece moving. It's high speed, low speed and it does seem to be activating properly. I don't hear any issues down in there. So we got it aligned correctly. Um, that's one of those tricky things with reassembly that you wouldn't know, um, you know, be able to tell just uh, doing it for the first time. see just how old this HEPA filter is. This one, if this one's not original, it's doggone close. Um, so I already wrote uh, May of 22 on here. So we've got that all set and ready to go. I'm also going to click the time strip. If there's something in the way of moving the air efficiency, efficiently, it's going to affect vacuum performance. And that's why we change these. All right. New pre-motor filter here. Boom. This will drop in just like that. So we'll just put it right there. It clips up and in. No problem. Now we need a bag. No problem. Make sure it clicks all the way. There we go. All right. So now that's back in place. So this just needs a quick detail. We'll get to that here in a minute. All right. And of course, if you like this, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.